things. These lace fronts. I know everybody want to wear lace. Everybody want to wear closure. But your lace needs to be on point at all times. You don't want to be walking around with your glue stuck together. Your lace half peeling back. The, 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 the corners over here lifting up. Like, you want to make sure your hair is fleeked down at all times. See, mine's slicked back. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't feel like doing it or whatever. But at the same time, my face is beat. And this is slick back enough for people to see that I'm beat, period. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do we look alike? <laughs> from the Taylor girls y'all already know what the intro gonna be uh, what's good I uh, wish so can I thought just get a little love <laughs> y'all already know how we do so I was recently on live and I had a couple of fans maybe like two three hundred fans um, talking about they wanted me to do a video talking about how to be the baddest chick so in my brain I'm like well how, how, how are you the baddest chick? How, how do you tell somebody else how to be the baddest? Hmm. Well, rule number one, you always want to come out the house looking on point. Makeup slay, hair pushed back, teeth looking pearly white, you know what I'm saying? You always want to make sure you're on point when you're walking out the house. That's like number one to anything. You always want to make sure you look good. Um, and I feel like another thing that makes you the baddest is being confident in what you talking about, how you walking, what you looking like, just being confident all the way around the board. I feel like that is another thing that makes you the baddest because you know what you talking about and you look good. What a hater gonna say? I mean, of course they gonna say something, but I'm just saying like, if you look good, you smell good, you talking good, and you confident. Like if anybody else gonna say they hate it, straight like that. Um, another thing, women. If you got your own car, own bills, own house, own money, that 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 puts another icing on the cake. But at the same time, you can have plenty of money, but not have a house. But you still straight, cause that's how I am. Like I got plenty of money, but I live with my parents. That's fine. That's cool with me. I'm stacking my money. But I got a car. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get a new car. So, you know, it's just like, it It depends on what you want in life and what your morals are. There's some people who get money, they go move out. They go spend all this money. And there's others who are reserved and humble and they stack their money. Then once their money get hot, then they move out. Those are bosses. You know what I'm saying? So it just all depends on that too. Ladies, these lace fronts. I know everybody want to wear lace. Everybody want to wear closure. But your lace needs to be on point at all times. You don't want to be walking around with your glue stuck together. Your lace half peeling back. The, 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 the corners over here lifting up. Like, you want to make sure your hair is fleeked down at all times. See, mine's slicked back. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't feel like doing it or whatever. But at the same time, my face is beat. And this is slick back enough for people to see that I'm beat, period. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, another thing that makes you the baddest is having a guy who supports you no matter what. That's a, a plus, plus, plus. Because it's hard to find good men out here to support their women without hating on them and making them feel like they ain't nothing like it's a lot of men that do that right now so it's good to have a good man on your side also um which i also feels like that puts your baddies to a baddie dee -dee -dee you know what i'm saying dee -dee -dee you know what i'm saying so you're not only the baddest b but you're the baddie dee -dee -dee b you know what i'm saying so um that's good too but all y'all that want to go get fake boobs fake booties nose adjustments, lip bl blossom, whatever. Make sure it look good. Cause there's some women I've seen they got implants in their butts and their tits and stuff and it look deformed 
or deflated and it looks disgusting so if you do decide to go in do all of those transitioning to your body. At least make sure it's done professionally by the right people so you don't look deformed. I mean, that one could make you better or it could make you look worse. So that one's kind of like up in the air because I've seen some women that got implants and stuff and they look like, I don't even know what they look like, but they look good. And then I've seen some women that's just like, what, can you go, can you go take that out? You know what I'm saying? So. That can help you or hurt you. Um, another thing that makes you the baddest is these nails. These guys, these can ruin everything. Like, I've been in situations where I go into interviews and stuff and I be talking, I look good, everything, but then I got a missing nail. Like, who wanna, who wanna talk to somebody that got a missing nail? Like, why are you talking to me? Help me understand. Okay, um, but yeah, y'all wanna make sure y'all nails is done, y'all toes is on folly these guys and not ashy and stuff that's like number one for me like I always say like you need to get your nails done if they look nasty you need to go get them done I try to keep mine done so if anything happened any show whatever I'm I'm ready on foot like let's go bow 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 you know what I'm saying so make sure these nails is done and these toes is fleeked um another thing I know some I know it's a lot of girls out here that's like me I don't believe in shaving my legs unless it's the summertime and I'm gonna be wearing bathing suits and be out. But if it's winter time, I'm not about to shave my legs because I feel like, what am I shaving my legs for? Like, who, who gonna be looking at my legs? Um, my mama told me that I should keep my legs shaved at all times, so I just want to throw that in there because I think if you got like, like okay, this is how I feel. If you living with your man and stuff or whatever, or your man living with you, however and you with them all the time, then yeah, I feel like yes, you do need to keep your legs shaved, clean, and everything. But if you like me, and you at your mom and daddy house, you just walking around, do what you do, ain't nobody gonna see your legs anyway, then I mean, I don't feel like you have to, but if it's summertime, and you gonna be out with shorts on, them don't need to be whack, shaved, nared, whatever, at all times. But for me, I only do that in the summertime. I'm, I ain't listen. I'm not gonna do all of that because nobody gonna see my legs. I don't live with my men, so I'm not about to do all of that. That's stupid to me. But everybody thinks different. Another thing, I see some women with, you know what I'm saying, little hairs growing down here. That don't mean you a man, but you know, if you got these little hairs down here, I mean, because I've seen pretty women, they got like little specks of hairs down there. Just, just out of courtesy, just get a little wax and just. And just mm, pull that off because that look mm -mm, that looks stained like you walk around with little pieces like you yo okay that's like this yo make up beat and then you walk around with little critters just crawling and throwing up gang signs like what who wants to who want to talk to that like when i look at your face i want to see gorgeousness not gorgeous and then hairy like what that's ugly so make sure y'all little critters down here is waxed off <laughs> or whatever um what else I feel like? Oh! Eyes loves the stretch marks. I love my stretch, I love my stretch marks. But there's some women with some, some stretch marks that look like they hurt, like they look like bruises. It's okay, okay look, let me show y'all. So it's okay to have like little booty meat like stretch, stretch marks. Like I have a couple like little booty meat stretch marks right here. Over here, like little booty meat stretch marks. It's okay to have booty meat stretch marks. But when you got big, nasty, like someone like a just an animal when it scratched you on the leg, when you got them kind of stretch marks, I feel like you need to get them kind of like revised or something. Like get them, I don't know, but Try to get them covered up a little bit. Especially if you're gonna be wearing like booty shorts and stuff. You got them big old craves in your leg. Like, that is not, that's not how you're gonna be the baddest. Like, that is not how you're gonna be the baddest. Like, nobody wanna talk to you with your cravings in your legs like that. Like, no, like, that's dead. These, this makeup. I know everybody wanna wear makeup. I don't personally need makeup. I just like to wear it because it's cute to me. But I see some women that have makeup on and it's just like, 
are you trying to look better or worse? Like, if you try to look better, then you need to change the makeup that you have on because it's not doing you no justice. You want to wear makeup that's your skin tone that complements you. You don't want to wear too much and you don't want to wear too little. Like, you want to be right in the middle. And women that have really, really nice structured faces, you just want to be like, you know what I'm saying, kind of on the lesser side versus the women that have stuff that they need to be covering up. Um, I just feel like, especially when it comes to the eyebrows and stuff, just please make sure they look at least somewhat natural. Like even I know all the men know that we be drawing these things on, but y'all don't gotta make it known that our eyebrows are drawn on with a marker. Like y'all don't gotta y'all gotta let people know that. You know what I'm saying? Like at least try to make it look natural. Like if y'all see my face, I don't know if y'all get because the lighting is really bright. But if y'all see my face, it's not too much and it's not too little. Um or whatnot. So just make sure that y'all are aware of how much makeup y'all putting on because I want y'all to be the baddest at all times. I don't want I don't want nobody to be like my brothers look look hit. My brothers need to be on point. That's why I'm giving y'all this video because I need y'all to be on point at all times. We don't need no mistakes. You feel me? Um, another thing, women. Keyword: women. One man. One I've seen some women with hairs on their Tolishas. Now, Tolisha can't shave herself, but you can. So when Tolisha grows some hairs on her toes, she need them to be shaved off. I don't need y'all walking around with your feet all out on the beach and then you got hair sticking out on your toes. That is not how you gonna be the baddest. We talking about how you gonna be the baddest. So how you gonna be the baddest is you need to shave them toes when the hair come on up. There's some women who don't have hair to come on their toes and then there's others that do. So for the ones that do, shave it off because it's disgusting to have hair on your toes. Walk around looking stupid. So when it comes to being the baddest, you gotta be confident in what you're talking about. When you gonna go talk to somebody, you wanna make sure you speak in facts and not assumptions or opinions. You wanna know exactly what you're talking about and exactly who you're coming for and what you're coming for at all times when you trying to be the baddest. That's just like if I'm walking up in a corporate um, office and I know I'm going for his position, I'm gonna go up in there speaking facts about his position, the position that I wanna take. So make sure y'all always know what y'all talking about and when y'all speak, Y'all speak with confidence, like y'all just know. Even if you don't know, act like you know. Pretend like you know. You know what I'm saying? You always wanna be on point. You always wanna act like you know. Even if you don't know, lie, make it up. Tell somebody, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, this is what I, and then keep it pushing, you know? That's another thing. Um, another thing. As women, we have to be cautious of our personal hygiene that's a big one because sometimes i feel like our body is the odor is more stronger than men because they don't really have i guess the body heat i don't know but i feel like women odor is way stronger than a man's odor like women odor is like pure stink men odor is like musty like mm, but women like, mm, like you know what I'm saying so we gotta be cautious when we go when we sweat and stuff we exercise and stuff like that sometimes our little cooter cats get a little sweaty sweaty we want to make sure we got some little wipes to you know what I'm saying wipe that up or whatever wipe under your armpits because we can get a little sweaty even though we don't be musty when we work out we play basketball whatever whatever we get we tend to sweat in certain areas more than men it's just how it is um so like especially when we're trying to be the baddest you want to make sure you're smelling good at all times you're not palling perfume or must like if you just got done working out take a shower just hop in the shower for 10 15 minutes to clean your body off if you don't have time to hop in the shower make sure you got baby wipes on on hand like to wipe your body down and then put your deodorant back on your perfume or whatever whatever so it's not just pure must on top of must like that's just disgusting like, it makes me itch even talking about must on top of must when you trying to be that baddest bit 
you want to make sure your breath is on point. I don't want you walking up to nobody talking 